Hey, it's me, Frank. I think I'm in the yeah. No Toto. No Toto market area. Uh, it sort of doesn't really have a name, but it says it's a collection of markets and stuff. <laughs> okay. You know. Uh, just sort of checking it out, see what they got. Huh? Okay. over there it looks like a lot of veggies I'm just talking I thought it was a cool morning and it is a very warm one. <laughs> it's a very warm morning, it's very hot. At least to me it is, I'm, I'm sweating quite a bit. many things. This place is at least calming down a little bit towards this end. Yeah, it's at least calming down a little bit towards this end of the street. Earlier it was just like a traffic jam of people and scooters. It was uh, not very pleasant. Got like a hardware store over here. All right, let's double back. I think this is for the for the end of the market area here. Go back into the melee. <laughs> it's okay. I don't have to get any of that. Oh, don't worry. Don't worry. <laughs> oh, geez. My friend just stole my uh, shopping list over here. She won't give it back. Sorry, how they do it. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Just kidding. Yeah. 
Oh, it is dark in here. Hello, what? Wait, wait. Huh? Wait. Oh. I want a large one. Small or big? Uh, tall. 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 No, no, um, yeah, just for just for cooking. A nice cooking knife. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. On you. That's okay. Yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Bao nhiêu à? Trăm ba. Trăm so Chris, if you're watching, I'm sure you're disappointed that I did not negotiate. Yeah, yeah. Oh yeah. <laughs> so sorry about that. A lot of times I don't feel like negotiating with a lot of sweat in my eyes. Uh, I just wanna. Yeah, I just wanna. I don't need much. Are those good? Okay. <laughs> I can't smell through the mask. Uh, yeah, I'll take one of these. No, I want some. I want one of these. Yeah, that's fine. And uh, a couple of onions. Onion? No. No, I'm okay. Just two foot? No, hold on. What foot? Okay. Uh, toss a couple of lemons in there too, or lime in there. Okay. Chin. Yeah. Oh, cute, cute. I thought she said 90. Oh, Chin. Chin Yan. Okay. What? <laughs> He's just like, no, I'm not paying 90 for anything, for any veggies. <laughs> This is the. This is what I'm in. Oh. Yeah. Uh, yai. Uh, can la. Huh? Can la. Can ah, can la. Can la yai. Thai. Yai. Yai. Thai. 
Yeah, yeah, long, yeah just a long green onion. Uh, That's what I meant. In, work, oh. in USA, you, you also do that? Yeah, sometimes, yeah. Really? Yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I saw some. I Don't worry about the eggs. I'll get the eggs just at a convenience store or whatever. Oh, yeah. what? Oh. What? Yeah. What are you doing? We will, we will. From where? <laughs> From where? Where? How? You don't know. <laughs> yeah, they'll have to they'll have to cut you me before they know. can get this. <laughs> yeah, how? Show me, show me. I'm wearing I'm wearing my bag inside out so people don't steal stuff out of it. <laughs> yeah, I can def. Yeah, so basically I wear my my satchel inside out with the flap towards me, so there's no way to get into it unless you take it off of me. Now that's a possibility. Totally a possibility. But regardless, you're just not picking stuff out of it. Yeah, I think I want the Korean one. Huh? Yeah, yeah. What are you, what are you doing? I'm All right, hold it, hold it, grab it. it. No idea what I'm going to be making with this stuff. I can't hear you, Bao Nyu. 18. Okay. 18. I have no idea what I'm going to be making with this, but uh, cucumbers and tomatoes are always good. I think I'm just going to be using the uh, the green onion to, sp to spice up my uh, my uh, fried rice a little bit. Oh, we got all sorts of stuff here.
Ah, uh, it's okay. <coughs> I think maybe uh, Ting Ting Yang, Chao Ting Yang. Uh, is do you know where to get vinegar? Vinegar. Uh, oh, it's a Jesus Christ! I need a I need a mop for my face. Oh man. Uh. Oh, come on. What's that? Vinegar. What is it? <laughs> it's a, do, you know, do you know what an acid is? Acid? All right, hey, it's me, Frank, um, back in the house, um, and I had, to, I had to rinse off, change shirts, and I am still perspiring a bit. Um, anyway, that was a pretty pretty cool little expedition there. Um, I meant to pull this up earlier, but let me see if I can zoom in on where we were exactly. Okay. So. If I remember the way she said it was uh yeah toto toto but um I want to say that's not an actual name of the market it's just sort of a street that has a lot of uh market vendors there uh, it, essentially it's a market okay but it's not it doesn't really have a proper name to it no tat ho if I'm saying that right uh, that just might mean something else. I'll have to look it up. Um, so basically, I didn't get a whole lot. I did get a kitchen knife for about five fifty. Um, it says it's by Zebra. Who knows if that's actually who it's by? The icon there looks a little faded. So you know, it's very well a knockoff. Um, I should probably get in the habit. I know. I'm sorry. I'm not probably. I know I should get in the habit of negotiating a bit harder. But, you know, when the price seems, seems fine, uh, I, I, don't, I don't mind uh, just taking it for what it is. Earlier I got a little dessert as well, a dessert, maybe a breakfast. I want to say this is like a yogurt with, um, I want to say there, there are a type of bean in there. We'll dump it, well, <laughs> not dump it up, but we'll try it out here in just a second. Okay, so this is uh, some of the items I got, you know, I got some, got, I got some lime. Some garlic. Uh, she called this a garlic as well, but it looks like just more like a small shallot. What I, what I would call a shallot. Some green onions. Green onions. Uh, some cilantro, it looks like. I don't remember buying this, but it came with it somehow. Got a couple cucumbers, tomatoes, and a green bell pepper here. I'll break down all the prices for you uh, the best I can. Uh, I don't. I didn't itemize each one, but I'll tell you what I paid for uh, in the group. So I'll have to review the video for that, though. I was thinking I'll make a cucumber salad with the cucumber and tomatoes. I'll use the green onions and the and the garlic to help spice up um, uh, my fried rice. Uh, the cilantro here, let's see, is this actually so I should probably wash that first before I just eat it, but um, that'll go well with the cucumber salad as well. Okay, well that's basically it for what I, what I uh, got there. Um, right now I'm just going to open this up and 
we'll have a little breakfast. All right. Well, let's try out this dish here. I'm not quite sure what it is at all. Um, so basically what I think it is, and I won't really be able to tell until I actually try it, so we'll see again. I want to say it's basically like a yogurt with a syrup and uh, maybe like a type of uh, a bean perhaps. All right, well let's try it. I think I've had something like this before. Um, let's see. Uh, it's sort of like a milk maybe. Yeah, sort of like a yeah, milk. And actually these don't quite look like beans maybe. I don't know. They are gooey. Look at that gooeyness. <laughs> Mmm. Gooey but good and mmm. What type of bean is that? Is that a bean? It's got like a bean type of texture to it. Oh, gooeyness. Almost like a like a roasted water chestnut. Not a water chestnut, but a chestnut. Oh, geez, so gooey! Look at the gooeyness. <laughs> so crazily gooey. I usually do not like gooey food like this, but but I am making an exception. Oh my gosh. Mm. Gosh, look at that. <laughs> All right. Well, I um, um, just want to say thank you for watching. I hope you're staying safe and staying healthy. Um, take care, everybody, and I'll talk to you very soon. Okay, bye-bye. <laughs> it's just fun to look at. This is like something you'd buy for a kid, like a, like a slime, a slime toy or something like that. <laughs> it's not appealing to look at, but it's pretty tasty. Not too sweet, not too savory, but just nice and satisfying. See, because I do that, a lot of times I'll just see something looks good. Well, yeah, let me try that. <laughs> I always forget to uh, get, get the exact name, the exact price of everything. This is only about 10,000 dom, um, so that's well under 50 cents. Honestly, that's, that's a pretty, it's a pretty um, dense little, little snack here. Um, this will tide you over, I would say. Mm. Okay. <laughs> nice. Not necessarily the sharpest knife, but pretty good out of the box. Yeah, I can't really, even if it is a knockoff, can't really complain about that. Looks like it might be. The handle looks pretty cheap. Uh, I'm guessing it's really not full tang at all. Yeah, I'm sure these these are obviously not real rivets. So I'm guessing the knife is only about like that deep in here. I'm not using this for anything hardcore or anything. Just uh, I only have like a steak knife, you know. So preparing veggies is not a thing. So yeah, not terrible. I have no way to maintain it really here. I don't have a stone or or a steel. And in fact, it depends on how I how I travel back home. If I just do a carry-on, then obviously I can't take this. Uh, you can see where, I'm not trying to do like a knife review on what's possibly just a knockoff knife, but regardless, the, the knife itself, 
out of the box is sharp and it feels has some decent weight to it. A lot towards the front because like I said I'm awfully sure this is not full tang. There's no evidence that this would be full tang. The handle is very sort of like a cheap plastic. You can still see like mold marks here and I'm not sure what you call this but the spine is very rough and unfinished and actually a little, sh little sharp so just be careful with that. Um, Regardless, uh, $5 for, uh, I don't know what this is called, like a Japanese style vegetable knife. Um, I think this was a yeah, decent pur purchase. I don't know, it seemed, it seemed like an okay price. I think I'm just sort of trying to convince myself that it's okay, I don't tackle too much, but uh, we will see. Now, when I was at the, the market earlier, um, yeah, when I was there earlier, I thought the lady quoted me ninety thousand for for those veggies. I was like, that is ridiculous. I'm not paying more than ten, but it was just nine thousand. So I'm like, oh, okay, okay. <laughs> I feel silly. A lot of times when I'm out there at those markets, it's just so overwhelming. So many. Uh, I usually a lot of smells, but with the with the uh, mask I had on, I can't really smell much, but usually you're just overwhelmed with smells, noises, sights, sounds, uh, noise, you're just trying not getting run over by those motorcycles. Haggling is the last thing that's usually on my mind. So just as long as the price sounds reasonable, and my, my, mm, mm, the way I rate reasonable is a lot higher than the average Viet person, I realize that. But still, if it's reasonable and it sounds like a bargain, okay, I'm fine with that. So that's just me. <laughs> this is, I'm just rambling now. <laughs> I mean, that must, must mean it's my nap time. So, okay. All right, last time. Bye-bye.